your neighbor money. It sounds like a recipe <laughs> for disaster, and that <laughs> certainly is going to be the case for the law on you today with attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Guys, great to see you. I don't even know if we need to hear the question. Yeah, well, I mean, think about it. You're friendly with your neighbor, but are you really <laughs> related? Are you that right. great of friends? Uh, What's the relationship? Before we even get to the money question. Yeah, this, this is gonna, a great way to end a good relationship <laughs> with a neighbor. All right, well, let's, let's uh, go to the question here. This is from Matt and Freeland. Matt says, I loan my neighbor money. He made a couple of payments, but now refuses to pay. He owes me $8,000. What can I do to get my money back? So we're not only talking a couple of bucks here. Yeah. This is a lot of money. No, that is a lot of money. Um, Matt, you're, you're under the amount of money that your neighbor owes you. Uh, you're under the threshold to go to the court of common pleas. So you could still, you could go to the magistrate, you know, the magistrate, file a civil complaint against your neighbor. Uh, the nice thing that you're going to be able to do is show that your neighbor made a few payments. So it's really going to be evidence of this contract and evidence of this loan uh, rather than just you saying that you loaned your neighbor money. So you are going to be able to, to have some evidence there, but you're going to have to present it in, in the magistrate court, get a judgment, and I don't know if you could ever get anything from them. But. Well, and here's the thing, too. is like If you enter into these agreements, and you're, you want to help someone out, which is, that's your choice. But what we'd recommend you do is you, you get a, a promissory note together, which basically says, hey, you know, I'm loaning John money and John needs to pay me back. Here's the payment schedule. And it's a it's a note. And that's basically a contract for, for them to have to pay you back. So when and if it goes south, you have that document and you can walk into court with it. So anybody else who's thinking about loaning money, oh. you know, not a good idea, <laughs> but have a promissory note, put it together. Make them right. sign it, notarize it, sorry, yeah. and then you'll have that document. Good advice. Now, viewers who need your legal direction with something like this, how could they reach you? Give us a call, 570-714-HURT. See us on the web, 714hurt.com. Or go to our Facebook page, and um, if, if you have a question about loaning somebody money, we could answer it immediately right now. Don't do it. <laughs> and it usually doesn't, doesn't end well. Uh, but if you have another question, put it on our Facebook page. We'll do our best to answer on an upcoming segment. All right, Results Matter with attorneys Greg Fellerman <laughs> and Ed Saramboli. Guys, thanks. We'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah, homepage.com and the Law New Hotline are always open.